guys, so today's video has been highly, highly requested and I get tons of questions on it. And I'm going to be kind of comparing and contrasting nurse practitioners or NPs to medical doctors or MDs. I get a ton of people that ask me, you know, should I become an NP or should I become an MD or what's the difference or if I, once I'm a nurse, is it best to go to med school afterwards to become an MD or go to NP school to become a nurse practitioner? And so I'm gonna kind of talk about these things in this video and I'm also going to do a little disclaimer. This is, in my experience, what I have learned. Now, this information may vary state to state. It may vary hospital to hospital. So this is just what I have personally experienced and what I know from my own knowledge. It may not apply to everywhere else. So I'm going to say right off the bat, uh, in my personal opinion, if you are a nurse and you're looking to further your education to become um, an advanced practice um, personnel, like a nurse practitioner or a medical doctor, um, I recommend going the NP route because one, if you go to nursing school and you're a nurse, that's already four years of your schooling. You're going to go back to NP school, which is usually typically two to three years, and it's usually your master's degree or your, you get your doctorate. And then you're going to have, you know, some sort of kind of residency training period when you're done. But that is six years total of school and then like your residency versus if you've already gone to four years of nursing school and then you wanna go back to med school, you're gonna to have to take some courses again and to apply to med school and then you're gonna to have to take your NCAT and then you're gonna to have to do four years of med school and then you're gonna to have to do your two to eight, nine years of residency depending on the job you choose. And if that's what you wanna do, that's great. But I think as far as um, from a most economical, I don't think that's the right word, um, I guess from um, the quickest and cheapest way to becoming an advanced practice person, I would go the nurse practitioner route. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Again, it may be different for you guys. I think it's a lot easier once you're a nurse to apply to nurse practitioner school than it is to go back trying to take those like organic chemistry and weird courses they require for med school in order to take your MCAT and be prepared, prepared for your MCAT. Okay, so now some differences. This is what I know from my personal experience. So at the hospital I'm at, we have two daytime hospitalists, which are the doctors that oversee the care of the patients in the hospital. We have a nurse practitioner and we have uh, an MD. And the nurse practitioners cannot take ICU patients. Now, there are intensive care nurse practitioners, but where I'm at, the NPs just take care of the med surge patients, and then the MDs have some med surge, some ICU patients. So the MDs are allowed to take care of a little bit higher level of care at the hospital that I'm at. Now, when you're a nurse practitioner, you can specialize just like a doctor. You could be a family nurse practitioner, you could be a pediatric nurse practitioner, you could be a NICU, a neonatal intensive care nurse practitioner. There are so many different types, um, but where I'm at, they just take care of med surge patients. Um, I know in Arizona, where I originally am from, uh, nurse practitioners can own their own practices just like doctors can. So if you want to open up a woman's health clinic, or you want to open up a family practice clinic, or you want to work at like the Walgreens walk-in clinic where you give flu shots and do mini assessments, or if you want to work in an urgent care, you can do that. You can own your own practice and order your supplies and do the business aspect of that and run your own practice just like doctors can. Now, I think that varies state to state. Again, I only know for the states that I have lived in. I would say if you want a kind of an easy summary of comparing nurse practitioners and, and MDs is that nurse practitioners um, can pretty much do a lot of the things that MDs can do, but a, to a little bit... Um, less acuity, I don't you know, like, uh, like I have heard that like emergency nurse practitioners kind of get stuck more with doing the, you know, patients that's come in with lacerations or broken arms or flus and colds and, you know, kind of more minor things um, versus if a big trauma came in, you would have an MD there who was overseeing the whole thing. Um, nurse practitioners can be kind of individualized, but they also could work under a doctor depending on the hospital that they're in as well. I also get a lot of people that ask me like, what's my role in relationship with the nurse practitioners in the hospital? And my role is that they are the hospitalist, I am the nurse, and if my patient's status changes, something's going on, or I notice an error, or they need a medication, or their pain is increasing, whatever it is, I go to the nurse practitioner just like I would go to the doctor and I say, hey, you know, patient in this room that has this diagnosis, all of a sudden is feeling shortness of breath, these are their vital signs. Like I do the same exact thing that I would do to a doctor. There's no 
difference. The only difference is if I'm taking care of an ICU patient, I know that I'm going to be calling the MD because the nurse practitioner does not oversee those patients. If you want more information on NPs and MDs for your particular state, I would look that up on the internet. I cannot give you guys, you know, every single information for every single state out there. Um, but I hope this kind of gives just a broad overview and kind of my personal opinion on it. Again, everyone's different, everyone's situation's different, and so you gotta do what's best for you. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.